Bang! Neves Knives. I'm Jared and we have a knife that is not only a gravity knife, but also a magnetic knife. Now it is in premium materials. We have full titanium and you can see the magnets right there. It also is somewhat of a fidget toy. Um, this <laughs> winds up becoming very addictive, but uh, the steel is M390 steel. It's a Tonto blade with a flat grind and the scales, so it's just two pieces. The one side is the backspacer as well. And you pop them apart with your hand. Now there is a safe handle. So the way I, and I, I haven't had it very long, so I'm not gonna be the best with it or anything like that. You know, you can just grab it and spin it open like that. There's a stop pin on the inside. So when it is locked open, it's you know locked in place as long as you're holding the handle together now we'll go more into that in a second but there's a stop pin in there now the way i do it um in order to have like a, a flowing motion opening i take the blade while it's faced this way and i just flip it so now it's faced to me so now that it's facing towards me i just pop it that way and now this is going to be my safe handle because when i swing this way the blade can't go this way only the handle can hit me and then when i spin it back this way now the blade the spine of the blade can only hit me so now i can swing it back similar to a ballo song and then when i want to close it i do the same thing just in reverse it's kind of hard to do under the camera right here Let's see if i can do it a little bit better but It gets pretty easy to do. Um, it winds up becoming um, somewhat of a flowing motion. And you know, you can always just do it like I just did it right there where you just kind of swing it around if you want. But the magnets are very strong and it does get very addicting doing that. Um, so this, it's very simple, compact, Pretty small, not not like super small, but you know, it's a compact little knife. The centering is perfect. I do have a couple negatives though. One, you know, it is a $200 knife. It's 200 bucks. Now it's innovative, it's awesome. I see in a new design that this designer's coming with that I think looks really cool as well. Like I, I'm hoping to get my hands on that uh, because I just, I love the way it looks. Now, the couple little complaints though for the $200 that like one, and I understand this is very innovative, so I'm not trying to take away anything from the design or the build quality or anything like that because it's pretty good. Uh, but so one, I do, I see, you know, a bit of a gap you know, you can see that. Now the magnet, obviously, I think this has to be that way because I noticed when I pull it apart, you'll notice there's a gap until the magnets touch, then it slaps it together. So really that's like the least, okay? So that's not even that big of a deal to me. Now, when it's open, no side to side play. It is very solid side to side, but I have a tiny hint of up and down. Maybe it's supposed to be, maybe it's not that big of a deal because in order for it to fail, it's gonna have to push this handle this way because it can't fail, right? It can't close on me at all. It just can't because that stop pin is stopping it. So in order for it, the blade to go towards me, it would have to break. So, or move this handle out of the way and come down, right? Because it's attached to that handle. Because one stop pin's going one way, you know, and then the other one you know, hits the other handle. Anyways, so not that big of a deal. You know, even OTFs and things like that have a little tiny bit and that makes it very nice for free flowing and everything. Now this is on bearing, so I wouldn't doubt if it wasn't possible for it to be very solid and just for the, the stop pins to have such tight tolerances that there wouldn't be any movement. But that's one thing. Now the next thing is actually my biggest issue. And that is this, when it closes, my edge hits the inside. You can actually see right there where it's hitting. Now that I'm not sure if I'm going to message the, the, the owner um, and see if that is normal 
or if maybe it's just mine because I don't think that this is a normal thing. I think maybe just, you know, with mine or something, I'm not sure, but you can see it hitting there, which, you know, is going to dull the edge. Yes, it's M390, but M390 is still not made to, to cut metal, you know. Um, it actually originally comes from the plastic industry. So, yeah, it has really good edge retention and everything and edge stability and all that. And I, ha and I don't feel much edge damage or anything, to be honest. The edge feels just fine. Um, but, you know. If I did lower back my edge angle and I put a nice, super keen, fresh edge on there, you know, I'd hate to chip it. But, um, you know, in reality, it's, you know, with the edge angle that's on there, I don't see it really hurting it that bad. But if I lowered back the edge angle, that's when those possibilities could come when the edge is maybe a little bit slicier and a little bit more fragile. Um, anyways... Regardless, though, um, I think it's awesome. I'm happy I got it. Um, I did pay for it. I did buy it. And, yeah, I think um, it's pretty cool, man. Um, it's, like I said, it's super innovative. It, it, you know, it, it works. It's useful. Um, yeah, you could technically go like that in your hand, you know, and break it loose and then it slide forward. But as long as you're holding both pieces together, which is pretty easy to do, it's not going to fail. So that's pretty cool. Now, the um the machining and milling and everything is pretty good but you know it's pretty simple and i think maybe it just being you know such a new innovative design and maybe not being thought of too much before and it just not being done by so many companies that you know maybe there might be a couple little tweaks that could be done um that or maybe were done and like i said maybe this one just happens to be one that wasn't uh wasn't the best and you know, I just got that luck. That, and that's, you know, that happens, you know. Um, like I said, I'm still very happy with it. I think it's still v extremely well done. And I do want to make sure I say that, you know, there is, like I said, another one coming. Um, these are supposed to have more dropping in November. I think they're sold out. I think I was lucky enough to get the last one. Um, but... Uh, I think they're going to come back in November, but there's another design that he's doing. Super pumped about that because I love these little cool innovative knives that are just super unique and just different. You know, you don't see things like it ever. And um, like I said, it's somewhat of a fidget toy. But anyways, I don't want to beat a dead horse. Um, the one thing I do wish, though, I'll be honest. One thing I wish we had a clip, um, I, you know, because if it was in my pocket, it can't really open. You know, and if this did pop open, you know, like this handle would have to fall in my pocket, especially with the blade facing this way. So I would love to see a clip. Um, at the very least, maybe a slip or something so you could slip it in a slip, but I'd way rather see a clip. Anyways, that's just me, though, because, you know, I like carrying on a clip. So, but love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.